So, um, what are the points, in my opinion, for the next uh, three years? This is probably, in my opinion, very clear after having seen all the, all the presentations this afternoon. Uh, fusion imaging and navigation will be include, included, are already included in some cases, in the diagnostic and therapeutic image guided uh, flowcharts. Uh, this is a, a recent paper coming from uh, uh, Korea in which, as you can see, the word fusion imaging is uh, several times uh, in included in the therapeutic flowcharts chart of the treatments of hepatocellular carcinoma. So, so in my opinion, this is not the future. This is already the reality. Second point, further technological advancements, which will increase the speed and the precision of co-registration and positioning of biopsy and ablation devices. Uh, you have already seen some of these uh, new uh, advancements also in the previous presentation. So again, I will be extremely fast. Uh, technology now is already offering and will offer more and more uh, tiny, really micro sensors to be applied in different areas, in different fields, inside different needles and different antennas, uh, the order of 0 0.3, 0 0.5 millimeters. Currently, the limitation of these sensors was the cost. They were extremely expensive, but now nowadays the cost is decreasing significantly. So the possibility of having these microsensors to be introduced into canals inside uh, electrodes or antennas is already uh, the reality. Um, increasing interaction between molecular imaging and fusion. Uh, this morning, uh, those of you who uh, were here when Professor Peche gave his uh, great lecture uh, have already understood the importance of uh, molecular imaging and of directing our needles, especially for bioptic procedure, where molecular e imaging indicates to us. And uh, as, for example, uh, Giovanni Mauri presented in the, first, in the first presentation of the afternoon, I feel that more and more fusion between uh, uh, real-time ultrasound and uh, molecular imaging, mostly PET, and with the different types of uh, isotopes uh, will become really extremely important. It's not important to biopsy the lesion, it's important to biopsy the functioning part of the lesion, the functioning part of the uh, area. Uh, this morning at the end of the presentation, Professor Pitcher mentioned the problem of lymph nodes. In my opinion, this will be one of the most important practical applications of these modalities in the future because uh, we, we see lots of lymph nodes in, in our oncological patients, but what are the real neoplastic lymph nodes? What is the part of a single lymph node in which there is the possibility to take out uh, functioning neoplastic uh, uh, tissue? This is the case of liver, uh, no, no doubt. So Giovanni has already shown this, uh, the case like this, so I don't want to waste your time, but uh, in this case, precisely introduced into the target using the modality of fusion. Uh, going back to uh, six years ago, in, 20, in 2010, we presented in, uh, the, at the RSNA in Chicago a paper, and we were honored with one of the awards of the RSNA, suggesting the possible use of uh, fusion imaging and navigation to teach, to teach students, to teach young medical doctors how to scan patients, how, because as you know, anatomy with, ultra, with the CT, anatomy with MRI is extremely simple. Anatomy with ultrasound is much more complex and difficult. If we fuse in the, in the patient or in a model uh, ultrasound with CT or MRI, and we ask the student to try to locate single vessels, uh, single areas of the liver, single segments, this will enormously decrease the learning curve of these uh, students. Uh, also, we can simulate also the presence of pathologies inside this uh, model and ask the student to navigate guided by fusion, trying to locate where is the pathology and when he has located the pathology, what is the shortest, easiest and safest path to the target. So in my opinion, all these possible applications of uh, 
uh, of these uh, uh, systems of image furniture will be extremely important in our universities and teaching, teaching, um, uh, teaching parts. I don't know if I can start this video. Uh, ah, it does not start. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this was a video, let me go back. This is a video suggesting the 2D navigation in which you can move your cursor simply navigating on a plain X-ray. So you navigate, with, in this case with the ultrasound, simply following the anatomy seen on, not on a cross-sectional image, but a simple an X-ray film. Uh, this morning we spoke also about uh, uh, some, uh, some important future of uh, visualization of the results of ablation and in this field the fusion, for example, of pre- and post-treatment images will become more and more important. So in another type of fusion, this is a fusion of more than one cross-sectional modality in 3D in order to evaluate our result. And I don't know again if this, uh, sorry. I don't see the cursor here. My mouse. Uh. Okay, now. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, this is the really close future. I think that in the next uh, two or three years, we should show all our the results of, of our ablative treatments uh, with microwaves, radio frequency, electroporation, whatever, only showing the lesion, the safety halo in green, and the volume of the closes we have achieved. And rotating in 3D, check if all the safety halo is included into the volume of the closes. Otherwise, the lesion is absolutely not uh, completely treated. Uh, if uh, I, I invite you to be here tomorrow for the, uh, the symposium tomorrow, we will show you some uh, uh, very interesting and innovative applications of these kind of uh, 3D uh, systems. Finally, fusion imaging and augmented reality. I say, I say a very promising uh, marriage. Uh, probably I am too old my career to see what I'm going to show you now uh, occurring clinically, but uh, probably even not. Probably this system, the system of uh, uh, fusing uh, images before and then applying to surgeon or to interventional oncologist a pair of uh, augmented reality glasses. And at that point, in this situation here, navigate like this in a moment you will see this is the glasses and through the glasses you see the inside of the patient you see with the lesions uh, inside the patient co-registered of course with the glasses and also co-registered with different imaging modalities for example PET and uh, CT and at that point after censoring also the movement of, movement of the patient uh, without any specific image guidance or simply keeping the image guidance close to you just for the final check, uh, introducing any kind of electrode, needle, simply looking at the patient, um, like this. And uh, this uh, may, seems to be a very far future. I don't think so. I think that in, uh, in a very short time, we will get this. And this probably Initially, for non-moving organs, uh, like brain, for example, like muscles and other parts, a little longer for in time for the moving organs, because the problem of movement uh, is important to, uh, to study and to define. But this, in my opinion, uh, will be uh, our future. Thank you very much. <laughs>